Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPhone app review for Ram Doctor by Zplox. This application is in the utilities category and works best on an iPhone or iPod Touch. Currently sells for 99 cents. There's a free version called Ram Doctor Lite that you can check out for free. The only difference between the paid and free version, there are ads in the free version. Again, that's Ram Doctor Lite. Other than that, the functionality is the same. And those ads are placed just above where my finger is, where it says free memory. There's also an iPad version called Ram Doctor HD, 99 cents, and a free version for the iPad, again, called Ram Doctor HD Lite. Now this app does one thing and one thing good, and that is optimize your RAM. You can see my available RAM there, and you can look down here and see what is going on. I have 58.4 megabyte, and that should be the same. You have your wired RAM active and inactive, and you got your total uh, memory right there. Now you can tap on this to optimize it, and that's what it does. It basically closes your applications, and a lot of you are thinking to yourself, yeah, I can do that by double-clicking my home button, holding on the open apps or one of the open apps, and once they get that red delete but, uh, circle in the upper left, then you can go through and delete each one and close them down. You can also do it with this application by touching one button, and you don't have to worry about all that. I'm going to keep this on my device because time and time again, when I want to play Infinity Blade, I want to clear out and close all my applications instead of having to do the double tap on the home button and then closing each one, which sometimes I have 10 to 15 open, I can just tap this button once I get into the app. There's a cog here you can tap on and you're going to see all the processes that are going on. Um, you know, not very exciting. If you are into that, then you can probably dig on that. The green plus button will take you back to iTunes to purchase the application. Kind of weird because I already have the application. So, uh, and, and then in the free version, I actually checked them both out. In the free version, they actually have ads in this panel. And then the plus button and this button are like right together. So you can easily mix up which one you want. They're not where they are now because that's where the ads are. They're moved down here and they're together. Um, obviously, so you will go and buy the paid version. Not a big deal. Great app if you're looking to close down your applications. Uh, like simply with one touch of a button. That's it for this iPhone app review. Until next time, this has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps saying see ya.